This is Lula Volpe with Film School Online. Today we're going to give you a demonstration of the Hot Splicer. The Hot Splicer makes invisible splices and it's used to conform the negative to the work print. In today's digital editing it's kind of a lost art form, a lost craft I should say. It's also used to repair release prints. A lot of collectors use tape spices. This is a tape spice machine. A tape spice, let me do a tape spice for you first so you can see the difference. And, oh, here we go. I got a little problem right here we could fix. And I'll show you how that looks. There's different types of tape spices. There's actually a simpler one that uses unperforated tape. This tape has perforations in it. I like it maybe because I was trained using this tape. But let's make a tape splice with this. They make a pretty good splice. Um, the trick to these tape splices is that the tape is very thin and the glue is the glue is strong but you have to press it down if you don't press it down then the splice is going to open up the tape actually sets like glue a lot of people don't realize that and they don't press it and then it comes apart and they complain about the tape but well, you can't use tape splices for conforming the negative to the work print because the splice has to be invisible and a tape splice does not make an invisible splice. Tape splices are used to repair release prints. This is basically what it looks like. You can see that the tape covers uh, two frames and it, for the most part, is invisible may here we go through the projector. Now they have tape splices that the way you saw the way I did it, I I did one side, then I flipped it. And they have splices that do everything in one motion, one step, and then they punch the the tape to make the uh, to make the holes. Now I just happen to prefer this. This is a Revis and um, I like it. There's no uh, little pieces of tape afterwards, and you don't have to worry about. Sometimes the uh, the punch gets dull, and then it doesn't punch through, and then you have tape sticking out here. And I just prefer this. When I used to cut movies, when I used to edit movies, I would use tape splices. I would use this machine to to create the work print. So anyway, that's a tape splice. Now what I'm going to do is, and the other thing about tape splices is they come apart really easy. After a while, after the tape splice has been there for a while, it gets hard to take off, but initially it's easy. Okay, so that's a tape splice. Let me show you what a glue splice is like. I'm going to make one for you, then I'm going to go through the process slower. Okay, I'll make one for you quickly. I'll explain to you what I'm doing in a second. Let me just make this one splice so you can see it. We hope that you enjoyed this preview. The entire podcast lecture series is available at Film School Online, www.filmschoolonline.com. In addition, there are sample lessons, free tutorials, tips, resources, and, of course, our online filmmaking courses. Thanks for listening.